Buongiorno studenti! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Benvenuti o bentornati. Uh, in today's episode of Ask Valentina, this year's where I reply to the most commonly asked questions that I receive by my subscribers or from my students, we're going to reply to a comment by, left by one of my subscribers, John. John says in one of my, my videos, um, excellent lesson, thank you. Grazie a te, John. I have been told that in general usage, buon pomeriggio is more of a description. For example, this is a good afternoon for a swim. Or a like is more used like as a farewell, more than a hello greeting. Can you please clarify this? Okay, let's talk about if Italians do use buon pomeriggio, and let's also talk about different greetings for different parts of the day. So let's start with buon pomeriggio. Buon pomeriggio is definitely not as much used as buongiorno and buonasera. But I want to stress that it is not incorrect to use when greeting someone, both when you meet someone and when you say goodbye. You can use these in both ways and it is correct. Not very much used anymore, but very, but it's still correct. Some areas and some people use it more and some others use, just use buongiorno or buonasera, which sometimes are used slightly incorrectly. So I would say they were kind of losing it, but I have to tell you that I am a strong proponent of the survival of buon pomeriggio. So I like it very much. I, I like it. I think we have it. Why don't you, we should, shouldn't we use it? So today I'm going to teach you how to use buon pomeriggio and all of them, all the other ones, correctly, depending on the part of the day. Okay, let's start with buongiorno. Buongiorno is the one that you can use in the morning until noon. And you use buongiorno when you greet someone that you just met. So, buongiorno is the one that you use when you say hello as soon as you meet someone. Buongiorno, come va? Buongiorno, how is it going? Va bene, so remember morning to noon. Buon pomeriggio is the one that you can use after noon until, let's say, a little bit before sunset. When you see that this, this, the sun is starting to get low, then you may switch to the next one. But buon pomeriggio can definitely be used after noon and until sunset, a little bit before sunset. So when you greet someone and it's this part of the day, buon pomeriggio, come stai? Tutto bene? Perfect. Then we have buonasera. Buonasera can be used from around sunset, even a little bit before sunset. I, as I was telling you, when the sky begins to get darker, and can be used, listen up, until midnight. Yes. Now, please remember that the way we set, we part the day is different in Italian than in English. So for us, night begins at midnight. And if this is something totally new to you, please keep in mind I have a dedicated video that I'm going to link in the description. You can watch that and I talk about this extensively in this video, how we break down the day and what's the correct way to talk about every part of the day in Italian. But for today's video, keep in mind the buonasera can be used from sunset to midnight because that's sera for us still. Now, of course, since it begins, we start using it from sunset, uh, well, it will slightly differ based on season. So for example, I can say buonasera at 5 p.m. in winter because it gets darker uh, sooner. But in summer, I wouldn't say buonasera at 5 p.m. because the sun is still up. It's really still bright. So I would still say buon pomeriggio at 5 p.m. in summer. So here's my trick. Just use the uh, sun as a guideline. If the sun is still up, and it's before noon, uh, well, of course, it's still up. If it's before noon, use buongiorno. If it's still up and it's afternoon, then use buon pomeriggio. If the, the sun is starting to go down, 
use Buonasera. And you can use Buonasera even when it's completely, totally dark. So, when do we use Buonanotte? Good question. We use Buonanotte when going to sleep. Or when you're leaving at night, di sera, but because we're going to sleep. So, remember, buongiorno is used when you greet someone when you meet them. Buon pomeriggio is used when you meet someone when, and you greet them. Buonasera is used when you meet someone and you greet them. Buonanotte is only used when you're leaving. Buonanotte, ci vediamo. See you. Good night, see you. Buonanotte, ci vediamo. Okay? We, do, we never use buonanotte to greet someone at night. No. If you meet someone at night, then you're going to use buonasera. Va bene? Perfetto. So, let's talk about something else that can be uh, very confusing. Uh, which is the difference between buongiorno and buona giornata, buonasera and buona serata. The difference is that buongiorno, as I told you, is only used when you say hello as soon as you meet someone. Buona giornata is used to say goodbye. It actually means have a great day. So remember, buongiorno, come va? Hello, how are you doing? When you meet someone. Buona giornata, a presto. Have a great day, see you soon. When you leave. Buongiorno, when you meet. Buona giornata, when you leave. The same thing with buonasera and buona serata. If you heard these used in everyday life in Italy, they can be very confusing if you don't know these. Buonasera and buona serata are the same as buongiorno and buona giornata. Buonasera, when you greet someone as soon as you meet. Buonasera, come sta? Tutto bene? Good evening, how are you doing? Everything, is everything all right? Buona serata, arrivederci, when you leave. Have a great night, have a great evening, see you soon, when you go away. Va bene? Now, going back to buon pomeriggio. Buon pomeriggio is fantastic because you can use in both cases. As uh, John was saying, um, they told uh, him that you can use this as a way of saying goodbye. True. So, buon pomeriggio works for both cases. You can say buon pomeriggio, come sta? Good evening, good afternoon, how are you? But you can also say buon pomeriggio, ci vediamo presto. Have a great evening, a great afternoon or a great evening, depending on the time of the day. Um, see you soon. Va bene? So, buon pomeriggio can use for both cases. And as I told you, remember, buonanotte can only be used when you're going away. You're going to sleep or you're going to get back home and you want to say have a good night. So that's all for today. Uh, I hope now it's clear that we can use buon pomeriggio correctly. That's fine. We can use it both when we meet someone and when we leave. And I hope now it's clear also how to use other greetings for other parts of the day. As you saw, it's crucial to know how we Italian people call the parts of the day. So I'm going to leave you the link in the description to that other video of mine that clarifies this point. And so now I'm going to say you goodbye with buona giornata, have a great day e a presto. Ciao da Valentina.